Hello and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. So today we have a suggestion asking, what if we make Pluto the size of UI Skatai, or Scooty, however you want to pronounce it. Let's go ahead and go to my saved simulations and let's open my performance one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn down the volume on my end because this is blaring in my ears. Okay, so we do not have Pluto in this simulation. I wonder if we have it in... And there's Pluto. The background's a little bit off, so I'm just gonna go ahead and change that real quick. To something that hopefully looks a little bit better. There we go. We'll just use that. And let's clear out the asteroids. We could do that by going to Tools. More. And delete all particles and dust. There we go. So now it's just mainly planetary bodies. So here's Pluto. Conveniently enough, I already have it copy-pasted the radius of UI Scuti. Pause the simulation before I do this, and let's increase the radius ever so slightly. Now let's lock that and paste in the new radius. Oh, interesting. I uh, forgot. UI Skitai is incredibly big, so we're actually going to paste it in this value via astronomical units. Now, if you don't know what an astronomical unit is, that is the distance between Earth and the Sun. So to give you a bit of perspective, UI Scuti is about 8 of those in, di in radius, so it's a very large star. Very, very large. Let's go ahead and place UI Scuti for comparison. We will place it as a still object so we don't mess up any orbits. And there is UI Scuti. And in comparison, the sun is over in the center here, if I can even select it. So here is the sun. Yeah. That gives you an idea of how big that star really is. So let's go ahead and get rid of UI Scuti, and let's hit play on the simulation and see what happens. Let's try to get a good view of this. Get this off the screen, and let's hit play. Okay, so Pluto immediately developed a comet tail, and something collided into it, as you can see. There's a shockwave scaling across the planet on the left-hand side there. But it looks like Pluto is losing mass, and it's probably losing it quite rapidly. I don't know why this is, I think it's because the density is so low that the sun is basically just carrying away the particles, because I never changed the mass, I only changed the radius of the planet. Or dwarf planet, rather. So you can see the mass loss total right here, it's losing mass pretty rapidly. And its total mass is up here, so it's pretty close to uh, pretty much just dis disappearing. And if I speed it up a little bit, I'm going to make a complete orbit before it loses all of its mass, it looks like. One thing that is interesting is I think it does cross the orbital path of Neptune at some point, so there would be the possibility of Neptune colliding into it if it didn't disappear too quickly. So that's interesting. Okay, so what if we put a black hole mass of UI Scuti in Pluto's location? Well, let's find out. Okay, so for this one I'm just going to use a performance simulation because I do not want this to lag up, and having two massive bodies such as the Sun and UI Scuti, so far with planets in between, will lag up the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roughly place a black hole, the mass of the Sun, out here where Pluto, Pluto basically orbits, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move this upwards into an inclined orbit. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and change the mass to 8.50 suns, and that's about the mass of UI Scuti in this game. So now, when I hit play, some bad things are probably going to happen, but that's what we want, so let's go ahead and hit play. 
Well, let's slow down time real fast. Now let's hit play. So the current most massive body in the solar system right now is, as you would guess, this black hole right here. Immediately, at least I assume, the sun is going to be pulled. Let's get a close up of the sun, since watching the black hole is not very interesting, and see what happens to these orbits. Now I imagine, as you can see here, Uranus, Neptune, and possibly Saturn, maybe even Jupiter, are going to be thrown about and probably pulled towards a black hole. The inner planets, however, are orbiting so close to the sun that the sun has kind of a dominant gravity over them up until the sun will start orbiting the black hole and then the black hole is probably going to fling these planets out of the system I would imagine. But that's going to happen a lot sooner for planets like Uranus. That's about to swoop around the black hole and be launched out of the solar system probably at escape velocity. So let's just watch that happen. And there goes Uranus. I don't think it's in orbit anymore. I'm pretty sure it's gone. And I can see that happening for Neptune and Saturn, definitely. So I can't really speed up the time currently without degrading the quality of the simulation. But given we're not really doing anything super accurately, let's just go ahead and do that so we can watch this kind of happen a lot faster. So older versions of the game would do this automatically, but now you have to manually do this. If you go to Sim, More, and Disable Automatic Tolerance, you can essentially remove the accuracy of the simulation by pulling down this slider, and that will speed up the game significantly. Now, as it said, things are not very accurate anymore, but that's perfectly fine for a simulation like this where we're basically just fooling around. So as you can see, it looks like the inner planet stayed with the sun over there. The black hole is right here. It looks like Uranus is still pulling along in an orbit around the black hole. So I'm wondering how far this will go. It looks like Mars is gone. I don't think there is any recovery for Mars. I don't think it's going to be pulled back into the system. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get rid of Mars because that's the one that's going to lag it up, typically when they get so far away. And Saturn, I think, is still in an orbit around the system. Yes, it certainly is. In fact, it's approximating the black hole is going to be about right here when Saturn curves back around. The Sun, I'm sure, is still probably orbiting the black hole. Yes, it is. It's being pulled back right now. Since it's the most massive object, it's probably going to hang around the black hole and not be launched out. It really depends how close the Sun gets to the black hole. So let's go ahead and degrade the simulation quality a little bit more to see if we can get a little bit of extra speed out of it. And there goes Uranus. It launched away from the black hole and then the sun kind of pulled it closer to it. And I think we might actually get to keep all of the planets except for Mars. Go to uh, view orbits, even though these are going to be a little bit buggy since there's two stars in the system right now. Okay, so it looks like we still have everything except for Mars, which was flown out way too quickly. Let's go ahead and grab a hold of Earth real quick and see what's going on since it's orbiting the black hole right now. Well, that wasn't very shocking. It's a snowball Earth. It's completely froze over because that black hole is not warming it in any way. It's not even really gaining in temperature as it gets closer to the sun. The sun is just so far out there right now. Let's go ahead and zoom into the sun and let's see what's still orbiting around it. Just Mercury and Venus. If I were to guess, I would say they're probably orbiting closer to the sun as well. So it looks like Saturn and Neptune have circumbinary orbits around these planets. Whoa, what is going on here? Oh, that's Uranus bugging out because it's trying to determine which one it's orbiting around. The uh, orbit view is not the most accurate. So I highly doubt any of these orbits are stable or permanent in any regard. Got Jupiter orbiting the black hole it looks like along with, uh, what is this other orange one here? I 
Oh, the orange one is the black hole. Okay. Let's go ahead and view trails. Okay, that's a bit of a mishmash. And Saturn might... Nope, it didn't orbit close enough to the black hole to be launched out. It's really hard to tell if they're orbiting the sun or the black hole when you uh, look at it in this view, but I think Saturn is completely unstable because it's currently orbiting in a high, uh, highly eccentric orbit. It curves around the black hole and then it gets affected by the sun every single time it goes around, and it's not in like a perfect sync, so it's going to change every time it comes closer to the sun. And I think Earth just got launched out. Earth is gone. It's no longer in orbit around these two stars. So, farewell Earth. I'm going to go ahead and delete it from the system. What is going on with Neptune over here? Okay, I think Neptune might reach escape velocity. I don't know what's going on. And there it goes. Which direction is Neptune going? Which trail? The game is still trying to guess if Neptune is going to stay in the orbit. I think Jupiter just got launched out, however. Yes, Jupiter is gone. I don't think it has an orbit around here anymore. So we have successfully lost Jupiter, possibly Neptune, but we'll keep it in the system for now. I think the two most stable planets are probably, well, I guess the one most stable planet is probably going to be Mercury because it orbits so close to the sun. I don't think it's ever going to get close enough to the black hole to rip it out of its orbit. But that did appear to happen to Venus, and Venus is now orbiting the black hole, so... Who's to say? Let's view the orbits. We still have Neptune. We did definitely lose Jupiter, though. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit more, if we can. It's in the red. No, the simulation cannot go any faster, so I'm just going to go ahead and slow this down to three months. Wow, things are just all over the place. The way I'm watching Uranus orbit, it might be stable, funny enough, because it's in like the uh, berry center of these two stars. Well, the berry center would be like closer to where uh, Venus is right now, at least the uh, periapsis of its orbit, but uh, pretty interesting. I don't know what's really going on with Venus, or not Venus, Uranus right now, because it's uh, orbiting in a polar orbit, which is funny because it's a planet that orbits on its side as well, or rotates on its side. And uh, it doesn't have really, really any eccentricity to its orbit, so it might just be stable there. Which would be very funny if it managed to stay stable in that kind of orbit. No, it's definitely expanding as it gets closer to the sun there. I could do a time lapse, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to probably uh, call the end of this video pretty soon. But let's see if anything interesting happens. Mercury is still orbiting the sun. It's gained a little bit of inclination, but not much. In fact, the inclination looks like what I originally set the uh, black hole to when I set the orbit. It could have just been the uh, black hole pulling it upwards or something. Not too sure. But it's like the same level of inclination that the sun has on the black hole at the moment, since we're looking at this on a uh, horizontal plane as we speak. It's just kind of in a different rotation, perhaps? Yeah, they're very similar. So that could just be my initial placement of the black hole. In fact, that can explain a, probably a lot of this inclination that we have here. Well, except for Uranus. Uranus is kind of crazy. 
Saturn, I think it's just being pulled close to the black hole, and that might be why it's uh, orbiting so lopsided. Of course, it could have gotten affected by the uh, orbit of Jupiter as well, and that might be why it's so inclined. Not too sure. So I don't think I could speed up the simulation anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and drop Neptune, and hopefully I will be able to catch up a bit. Well, that doesn't seem to have helped much at all. I could try to drop Uranus, since it's such a distant orbit. Typically when you have something like Uranus orbiting around two objects at a very far distance, uh, it slows down the simulation, so hopefully deleting this planet will speed it up. I'm going to pause the game, let it kind of catch up, and then I'm going to delete Uranus. And let's see if that helps. No, not really much at all. be pretty shocked if this is a stable orbit for this system, but who knows, it's kind of crazy. Venus seems to be getting more and more pulled into elliptical orbit from the sun over there, but uh, I wouldn't really know. It'd have to be at its periapsis, the farthest point in its orbit, and then the sun would have to pull on it to uh, get it to kind of stretch the orbit a little bit further which inevitably would pull it closer to the black hole, which might result in it eventually not falling into the black hole, but being shredded up by it into a bunch of small particles. That is a possibility. I think easily the uh, most stable orbit in this system has been Mercury the entire time. And Saturn's just being crazy. I feel once Saturn reaches too close to one of these stars, which in its orbital path is entirely possible, as you can see it pretty much crosses path with the sun in its orbit, it's going to curve around the sun and be launched out of the system eventually, so I'm going to assume Saturn is completely unstable. So it looks like Mercury and Venus are the two most stable planets in the system, because these black, the black hole and the sun are not really going to change their orbits anytime soon unless there's an external force acting upon them. Which you could say Saturn is, but I don't think it's really massive enough to have any effect in any short or relevant time span. So I think I'm gonna end the video off there. It looks like we have two stable orbits with uh, Venus and Mercury, Mercury being the most stable out of all of them. And I think Saturn is eventually gonna be launched out of the system entirely. But, Who's to say when that might happen? In fact, it might happen right now. Nope, they didn't really sync up. But as you can see, Saturn's... Uh... That was my point there. If Saturn were to curve around the sun, that orbit that stretched out there would have probably launched it out of the system at escape velocity. But I'm going to go ahead and close the video off there. If you liked the video, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.